They turned their weapons against the glaciers and buried their own city. Mongol and the Prophet's people alike were crushed in the ice. The Khan and his warrior horde are dead. The people of Katesh are broken and scattered. I alone survive in the frozen heart of the city, and my only companions are the deathless army of the Prophet. Their eyes aflame with unholy light. Even now, they hunt the ruins for survivors. I don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like, but Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years, all that experience and knowledge, it's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations, all for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. Stay out of sight. <sighs> Signal bells. I should take these out. Stay out of sight. <sighs> There's a piece of flint in the pouch. It's a striker to start a fire. Each Mongol soldier had to be self-sufficient. is testing me. I've scavenged weapons and tools enough to survive. The Khan once demanded I learn to draw a bow and fight like one of his soldiers, and I am grateful for that. He gave me his own arrows, made for punching holes in armor. The ice around me provides all I need to drink, but it runs red with blood. The Prophet's army now patrols a dead city. These are not the soldiers who first met us at the city gates. They've been changed somehow. Among them, I can see a man that I myself killed in the battle. The old legends say that those who looked upon the divine source relinquished their very souls to it, attaining immortality. If this is true, I will surely perish here, buried with the secret I was sent to find. Those banners, the insignia of the Deathless Army?
They're firing at me. Maybe I could use them to break through that gate. 